you start to see the way I feel And my actions, y'all been forcing me to say what's real Fake handshake before you see me take a deal Like Colin Kaepernick, I make a meal I ain't talking for the flag Shorty got no makeup, all my niggas wear masks Yeah, have an identity crisis We trying to get rid of ISIS Brody got the gas on him, we trying to fiddle the prices Yeah all you niggas Gucci Louie, I'm on a different designer back when the chicken was Tyson. Yeah. Lately I'm killing my rivals, all of my women is biased. I know she thinks she a diamond. Yeah. I hit these hoes with the Midas. Alright, what's going on, y'all? Scooter the old wavy bastard here. Got Snackavelli Macaron Tunny, cause I'm in the building with me as always. Yes, sir. This is the Not Included Podcast, episode 95. Creeping up on that 100. Mm-hmm. And then 95 already? Mm-hmm. It's 95. Got some guests in the building. Mm-hmm. Got good game, John. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? Got Chris, <laughs> Wally West. What a dude, what a dude. Got a, uh, trying to shake some shit up here. Chris is auditioning to be a permanent member. <laughs> First time it's, it's auditioning tape. <laughs> no, you already been on one, so this this the callback. Yeah, yeah. It's your second. <laughs> it's, it's the video right here. <laughs> just got audio, just got sound bites last time. Yeah, <laughs> you actually at the table today. No bullshit. Hey, but we here, man. What's going on, y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Shit. Just hanging. Post birthday, still big, celebrating. Big thirty, big two seven. <laughs> <laughs> Happy belated, fool. Man, appreciate it, bro. Day. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. Nah, nigga, thirty, man. Didn't get no, man. Didn't get no. <laughs> that shit real. <laughs> ain't no dodging that shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't getting no till you hit fifty, man. <laughs> I feel you That's how I was Like I never thought About 30 and shit Like it wasn't like I didn't think I was gonna make it there I just never thought about Like damn Turning 30 Turning 40 Or anything I always thought about Like having kids Having grandkids And shit like that But you don't ever think about The age That come with that shit Mm -hmm. Uh, That's true though But we here Let's get to it, and I guess uh, which one you want to start? Which one you want to start with? I guess we'll start with the one at the top. Yeah, Facebook one. Play this clip real quick. Uh, just explain a little bit real quick. So, I guess this guy had a little what like intervention type shit. I guess with Il- 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 Ilana Von Zant. Is that how you say her name? To fix my life, lady. (laughs) (laughs) To fix my life, lady. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. I play this real quick. I ain't gonna play the whole thing. It's five minutes. My perspective of black women were my aunties, my cousins, all the way from you know. I had cousins that made me feel weird. You know, you you dress you dress funny. You you why you act like that? You know. Black women look at me and say, "I can tell you don't like us." I'm like, "What?" I don't like you. Uh Uh-uh. I love you, but I can't help it if I learn 20 instruments. I can't help it if I play flute, walk barefooted on on the beach. And I'm from South Central. I was amazed at you because I even told you, I said, you're a beautiful girl. And I watched yesterday. Oh, she's a beautiful woman. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Beautiful woman. Yeah. I said, you're a beautiful girl. And I, I told him, I said, this generation right now, people in their 20s, it's hard. Y'all making it hard on these brothers. We got to wake up every day. Everything has to be about status. We got to buy this, even if we can't afford it. And then y'all on Instagram, beautiful, and you talking like you don't have no daddy. You sound like a dude talking. Like you ain't got no home training. Oh, what the fuck is up? And you say you a bad bitch? That's not a bad bitch. I'm talking in general. I'm talking about the general that you're, how old are you? 22. Yeah, your generation. Girl, you're 22 years old. You doing this. You having hot flashes? Yes, it's hot. Michael, you 
that's disrespectful. I want you to understand that. Why would you do that? Because I'm being funny. I'm a different kind of personality. Now you're trying to make me look bad like I disrespected her. You did. I got a woman with a, I got a son with a black woman. My mother is black. You disrespected I was, this woman. I'm your voice. I'm listening. You know, the first thing is that I thought it was funny. Miss Lyra, Miss Lyra. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do it, Miss Lyra. It's out of order. I you thought it was out of order. Yeah, but I handled it. And you got the apology. I'm talking about the first comment that you yeah, made. But I'm handling it. I said to you earlier, and but I'm going to give you. I like that. But I'm going to give it. Said. Yeah, but you know what? I'm going to give it to you because you weren't away. here. We taught the ladies the distinction between hearing and listening. I'm listening, listening, and I didn't like what I heard. Yeah. So I commented So you don't have it. to respond. That's your power. Don't give him your power. You don't have to respond. Hold it. I told you I will handle it. Just breathe and hold it. When I feel disrespected, I feel like I should have a voice. You said we, we're allowed to have a voice. Yeah, I'm your I voice. I want to say something. Today, I'm your voice. Like you said. I'm your voice because you are reacting. You're not responding. Breathe and we'll handle it. I've breathed enough for the day. All right, what are y'all thoughts and, and, on this video? Oh. Please put it down in the comments. We want to know. Uh, and, this nigga? Yeah. <laughs> and it gives a little caption in the video that say, black men that don't date black women because they have a problem listening. So, fellas, what's y'all thought on that? The whole video and the caption and all that. Anyway, everything that happened. I don't even get what was going on. Like, what was they doing? Uh, I guess dude don't date black women. And they was doing, she was doing her old fix my life thing, I guess. So she put him in a room with a bunch of black women. So, like, who even signed him up for that shit? Like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, like, 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 yeah, like, why would you even no, sign him up for that That's a whole episode or something. I ain't watched the whole thing. I just watched this video. Yeah. That shit was OC. Yeah, I was, I was wild, though. I don't know, but. So it was a fix my life for him? I don't know if it was a fix my life. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't look into it all the way to see exactly what it was. We but just that's know what that's I the assume. fix my life lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I would assume with her being. That's her thing. And it's being recorded, so. Yeah, I was fucking wild, though. Like, I don't even understand what was going on, though, like in that little, in that little clip. What's your name, cousin? Um, I love black women. Um, I feel like <laughs> I'm gonna start by saying that. Uh, first of all, I love all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's just black women that have a problem listening. I, I feel like <laughs> so I feel like you that goal, all women. It's all across yeah, the board. <laughs> so. And not all of them, but you know what I'm saying. They, so what y'all think about what happened in the video as far as him and how, how what the shit that he was saying? I mean, <clears throat> he didn't say nothing ridiculous. Yeah, because he said he was crazy. speaking in general. Yeah. So he didn't say like her, you know what I'm saying, you know, pointing her out. He just said that her generation. But right. she took offense to that shit because like shit, that's still, she, she a part kinda, of it. She kind of proved this point yeah. once mm -hmm. she got up and left. She couldn't take the heat. She got up out the kitchen. Right, so it was like, yeah. But like, as far as like uh, black women having a listening problem, I wouldn't say like listening. I'd probably say as far as like comprehending, like, you know how women to jump to conclusions quick. Right. So like, the minute they assume something, they add that to the, you know what I'm saying? Get their little theory like, oh, no, no. You know what I'm saying? This was the reason when reality was a whole nother, a whole nother situation. But listening, nah, uh, because <laughs> they be listening. They be they listening. listening. <laughs> <laughs> they listen. They, they ain't listen. They listen. <laughs> That's one thing they do for sure. Oh yeah, I agree with you on that. They, they comprehension is probably more of the thing, and I think it's a feeling thing. And I don't even want to even put that on women because this is some emotional ass niggas out here. Oh man, yeah, that for sure. just comprehend shit differently. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and just go to ten with it immediately. 
Nigga, straight, I'm taking my life in yours. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, wow. 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 Wait a minute. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Oh, cause she said she didn't want to be with you no more. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. Get another one, nigga. Damn. Right. <laughs> Shit. Right, oh, yeah, I know. I know. What I will say is that I don't. You know, this is cool to discuss, I guess. But it's women out here like that too. It's corny. You know what? People deem him to be as corny. It's corny black women, just like him. That's in the corny shit. They don't. Oh, they called. They said it was corny. That's that's what he was alluding to. Mm-hmm. But it's women out here that that you know they don't. You know they wear their natural hair. They don't wear weave and shit and eyelashes and all that shit. They might not be able to twerk and do shit like that. <laughs> it's corny black women out there that you can go find. As a corny black man no But you don't want Them type of black women You want the black women That got the Fucking weave and shit yeah, Fat yeah, ass like, And all that like shit So, so you like can't that. say You don't Date woman. black women You yeah. don't date This specific Type of black yeah, woman like you, like you don't Date the type that That, that you that, want That suits you Yeah mm-hmm. That you're attracted yeah, to That, that yeah, are that attracted to shit. Yeah Cause there's definitely Some corny Black women out here that he could easily date that's right. into the, all the same shit that he into. Is it the same? And I don't, I don't deem the shit that he into corny, but some would. Like, nigga, you know, like <laughs> if you know twenty instruments, that's fucking dope. That's dope that's as hell, nigga. I wish I knew shit. how to play one instrument. Right, right. but you know, <laughs> I'll be on same. tour with somebody right now, nigga. <laughs> yeah, playing the shit out the clarinet, nigga. You don't just go around <laughs> telling people that you like to walk around barefoot the sand playing the, the flute. Yeah, like, you don't tell people that shit at the same time. Yeah, I would, off I would. the bat? Yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I would. <laughs> off the back, though? I'd be barefoot on the beach playing the flute. Okay, nigga. All right, All my right. jeans rolled up. Uh, I just, you know, I just came back from the beach watching the sunrise playing my flute. That's what we on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sipping some wine. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I ain't never met a nigga that did that. I don't care. <laughs> you don't fuck with it or you ain't. <laughs> I'll play my flute for somebody else, bitch. What? That's different. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna say, you're different. And then, you know, at the same time, too, what all they saying, like, <laughs> I, I hate, I don't like it when women say this, but there's some truth to it where they say, oh, you can't handle me. You just ain't suited enough Or you ain't on my level Yeah You just ain't got the Skills to deal with that type of woman Or pull that type of woman I know niggas that's into Quote on Quote corny shit That a lot of women ain't Like you watch anime Yeah I, I talked to A lot of women day, ain't like, into that <laughs> But you ain't You date black women Yeah <laughs> they, they they watch it with me. It's like, I'm into it, so they want to be into it. Like, if right. you if you like the alpha male, real swaggy type of nigga, it don't matter what you into. Right. If you get a chick, she gonna be into the shit that you into. Right. That's true. If she wanna fuck yeah. with you, she, exactly. she gonna adapt. She gonna adapt. But you gotta be that type of nigga to get a woman. To be into the shit that you into. Right. You gotta fuck with who fuck with you. It's in ya, it ain't on ya. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I could just think about the women that I dated and the shit that they wasn't into before they got with me. And it ain't nothing, nothing crazy shit. Like bondage and shit. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM all day. <laughs> Nobody just me. He took it all the way <laughs> to ten. I don't know. I thought we were just talking about like movies and TV shows right. <laughs> and activities. Oh, no, I said, <laughs> Too much. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> 
Cause I know all that. Because <laughs> <laughs> shit, I can even think about some of the times some women that I didn't dated or been with, and I thought to myself, like, damn, how did I get you? Like, I don't. I'm not no exciting ass motherfucker like that. To me, I don't think I am. I just, well, I guess because I know, I feel like I know people that's more exciting than me and do more shit than me. Like this nigga into bondage. <laughs> you bring that up, huh? That's probably gonna be the name of this episode, bondage. 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 <laughs> I only did handcuffs, okay? No, handcuffs. Maybe a little rope. Nothing too silly. <laughs> oh, but I don't know. How y'all feel? How y'all? They are y'all just exclusive to black women, or do you prefer black women? And you kind of dabble out the side of it sometimes. I prefer black women, but I dabble like I dabble out. Yeah, I dabble. So out. have you like yeah, seriously outsource. dated outside of black women before? <laughs> yeah, I have. Okay. I have. Yeah, I have. I have seriously White? dated. No, Latino, Latina. Yeah, <laughs> something Shit. like that. What you got? I don't. I don't I'm saying. I don't know what you did. I was trying to hear it in here, but it didn't come through. Excuse me, come again. Excuse me, say what? <laughs> no, I ain't ever dated outside my race. No? No. You know what I'm saying? Never? Wow. Oh, I would have thought, I thought you did. Wow. No. You know what I'm saying? I be, you know what I'm saying? I done freaked outside of my race, but I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never dated outside of my race. Well, brother, it's, it's outsourcing. Mm-hmm. Outsourced. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. I ain't gonna ask you. You've been locked down for Man, you know, a long time. Long time. <laughs> long time. In your earlier years, in your high school <laughs> years, did you? No, nah, it was just nah, black. Just black. Yeah. Had a couple white girl crushes. That was about it. Just blacked out. Dark skin. Yeah. Mainly light skin. Dark skin is rare. Like Mr. Clean with hair. Man. I'm trying to tell you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Golden ticket. I'm telling you. I'm cuff like chicks. You say what? I said I don't cuff like chicks. Oh, no. 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 You don't fuck with the milk of magnesium? <laughs> not, not cuffing wise like dark skin I don't know it's just like they just don't got like they got book smarts but not like common sense they gullible as fuck yeah like, it, like it's different like you just like it's different having book smarts and street smarts I guess like that shit's completely different mm-hmm. you can get some black women like that there too no. oh yeah of course of course I've experienced it of course but uh, yeah, for me, shit, I ain't, I've only dated black women. I've dated a woman that was half black, and I don't even know if she was half black, but she had some Latina in her. I don't think it was half. But yeah, and like you said, I I uh, took down a couple white girls, mm-hmm. but. I ain't never had no little Latina. Mm. 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 Or sexually. Mm. I have. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> I'm going to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, every, every woman I've dated except for one was dark skinned. At least chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Darker than me, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's my preference. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Except, except for that one light skinned chick. You know what I'm saying? That happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know? Ain't and no I understand well. why I, <laughs> I, 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 I got to keep it on the chocolate side. You know what I'm saying? It go too well. Yeah. She was mixed. She was like, uh, 
What was she like? White and Native American, I think, and black. Yeah. Bless her heart. I hope she's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it chocolate, though. Hey, I know I always want black. I like black. And I wanted to make sure my kids was black. Bliggity black, black. Man, black. <laughs> Crunchy black. Black, black, black. Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. No, uh, I, I knew I wanted my kids to be black. I want to make sure my kids look like me. Hmm. I don't want it to be no question about it. And it ain't none. If you seen them, mm-hmm. them niggas look just like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. <my> man. <laughs> <laughs> I be blessed. No denying don't it. look shit like me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Any light skin. That's the worst part about it. What well, old folks would tell you, that that mean you did a good job when she was pregnant. Everybody kept telling me, like, oh, boy, you stressed her out, didn't you, uh, while she was pregnant? <laughs> that boy looked just like you. <laughs> I had to pick up my cup, like, Hey. <laughs> right now Might have been a little bit stressing that. I ain't tried to It wasn't intentional <laughs> <laughs> Hey Everybody got a preference huh I just ain't met nobody You know what I'm saying Outside of my race That just had me feeling The type of way You know what I'm saying that's all it is. Ain't like I wouldn't date outside my race. It just ain't happened yet. So. I don't think I would. I can't say it. Would you? What? Date outside my race? I mean, you said like you have, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. He said, I'll do it again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm not like... <laughs> He said, she ain't got to be brown for me to go to town. No, like, 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 no super, I mean, like... Martina yeah. is brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you right, though. I just wanted to say something cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to, I used to get this like dude, too, but I never took that shit to heart because I knew, like, it's more women out here than dudes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you just you got to be firm on your shit. Mm-hmm. Even with that though, like I said, I just don't believe in it. Like, it's corny black women out here. Yeah. You just don't like you corny gotta, black you women. Gotta find the right one. The for ones you. that you that you really <laughs> like you broke your fucking heart and wasn't yeah. fucking with you. Now you now you on date black women. That's what it sound like. That's what it be. <laughs> like it's all right. Just say you attracted to the women. You attracted to the ghetto, quote unquote, ghetto women or whatever he was trying to describe. You attracted to them type of women. Physically. Yeah, physically. So that's your problem. Who hurt you, bro? <laughs> that's your female's favorite shit. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, sir? That's funny. <laughs> I love saying that shit. Who hurt you? Bitch, you did. <laughs> God, it was you. <laughs> you that for real. Oh, you want to play dumb, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, on to the next topic here. Play this next video. It's a chick. Uh, she was on a podcast talking about how after she broke up with a guy. So let's play this video. I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends, you know, we don't, we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still, ex- I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then what's the difference now you know what I mean you were my girlfriend I was you yeah but I just I was I just feel, yeah but I personally feel like no I'm not yeah, moving but see, <laughs> but see what he did was this though he gave you the upgrade but part of that upgrade is cause you're with me yeah you understand so, so let me just go though so we didn't work out me and you dating you feel me so I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins now I get it you're a true boss if you do that and that's the 
the vibe we're getting, but jazz. No, it's just I'm not moving, and you, you're going to have to deal. You, you know. So, thoughts, fellas? <clears throat> Who want to go first? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like... Cause like, bitch no. Yeah, like, it's like, cause it's like, it's like, bitch no. But it's like, you gotta get tough shit and go. Yeah, like, you gotta get. But at the same, why, why, why would you? Well, wait, 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 hold on. Though? Before you go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on there. He is still paying. She's, he's paying for the loft and paying for her car. I think it's a Benz. Mm-hmm. So he's still paying for it. Yeah. But she, so, she continue. did say they still friends though. Yeah. So continue. I mean, he damn near got to because it's like, why, why, why would you buy? Why would you buy her a loft and a Benz? That's why. Do you buy a loft? Wifey shit. Can you buy a loft? You can. It's like what? Just like lease? Maybe, maybe like lease one. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't got another one. lease. Yeah, you're right. Like, <laughs> I mean, the loft that I've known, you can only rent. So I don't okay. know if you can buy them. Yeah, yeah, I, think I guess. I like a penthouse them. type shit. I know you can lease them. I don't know if you can buy them. You can lease them. But yeah, like, like why would you do that? Like, why would you put somebody in this position and then just be like, fuck it? Just bought her that shit. Right. Like, so you think he's, he's has to. No, I don't think he has to, but it's like, it's like, why would you take a broke chick? And upgrade her like that. And do it upgrade and upgrade her like that. And then like move her out of where she was at. Right, move her out of where yeah. she at, buy her fucking spanking brand it's new bins. Paying for the shit that she it's, already it, got. Yeah, like that's different. Like if you you could have bought her a little Toyota Corolla. Right. Kept her at her mom's crib. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> flew her out every now and then. Yeah. You good. Yeah. But he went he went above and beyond. It's, I can see if it was his, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. His fiance or wife or something. Baby like, mom. No, Any, yeah. e even that. E you know yeah. What I'm saying? Like something like that. Something that holds some weight. I know girlfriend, though. Yeah, he just went above and beyond. Like, you bought her a condo. And, like, like I don't even know. Like, like, we don't know her position, what she's doing. But <laughs> at the same that, time, man. it's like, it's obviously not much. Sorry. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> It's like she said, she ain't know. giving it back. If you stop yeah, paying for like, that shit, what you gonna do? Somebody ain't exactly. gonna change my lifestyle. All right, <laughs> you know, all right. I'm gonna see how you gonna pay for it then. Yeah, I, I, I would have stopped paying <laughs> for it, but it's like I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even buy nothing like that for just like my girlfriend. That's like some fiance wife material, right. like <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. He done fucked her up now. Yeah, he, exactly. he fucked he up. Already, she already done milked him and shit. Yeah. She used to that shit now. That's why she up. That's why she thinking like that now. Yeah, cause she can't even you afford got it. Got you a good one. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga like me, I'm like no, nope, you can cut off. Good luck. My life. Mm -hmm. So what you think, bro? I mean, I forgot what was as far as. Like Too close <clears throat> No I just The one angle Right on the Um That just what you think uh, Overall or What she said About I A nigga still Playing for her After they break up So nah, right. It's enough for me I wouldn't be I probably wouldn't have been Depending on how uh, Serious the relationship was I wouldn't even set her up Like that off a of job Like like how bro said, like wherever your living situation was before, I probably would have threw you some cheese on that. Pay for that. Shit, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All that new shit, like that's we gotta be like, you know what I mean? You you wifey, like, ain't none of that all that little side shit you got going on, all that. Like it's cut. Especially if you he, he doing what he was doing and shit, like Niggas don't buy lofts like that ain't no <laughs> yeah, like, like, loft. Not even a, a, just like a nice bird. apartment. A loft? Like, no, I mean, you lofty out here, bitch. Right. <laughs> Everything and shit. Like he paying. Like she living off him, basically. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm She probably know, don't basically. Yeah, she probably she don't do shit. Like no bullshit. Like she probably wake up and like do what she want. Like whatever, bro. Like I'm finna go shop or 
You know what I mean? Just out. Just book, just spend it type shit. So. Cause see, if he would have just paid for wherever she was at, and then see, then uh, then just be like, I'm gonna see what she gonna do. See, right. she boss her shit up and boss her life up and shit. Right. Yeah. Cause if she if you ain't paying no bills, then shit, you got you got all the money that you making on your own to do whatever with. You know what I'm I saying? Might change her whole attitude. Right. Like no bullshit. She probably brainwashed. I can't I can't be without them. That's why they probably still friends type of shit. So no do y'all joke. think, like how they said in the video, that dude said, I guess she said it, he said it. Is that some bullshit? Y'all think that's some bullshit, quote unquote? No. no. I mean, <laughs> everybody got that's their own image of how they look at a motherfucker. But in my eyes, like, no, nah, bro, that's, that ain't no bullshit, Some bro. simp shit. That's mm-hmm. some dumb ass <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. That's some goof. trick. That's, that's some like, no bullshit, bro. <laughs> That's the if you, it ain't tricking if you, if you got it type shit. <laughs> Especially if you still doing it and you ain't getting nothing out of it, bro. Like that shit burns. It's over with. <laughs> Super. That shit burns. It's over with. Cause I, right. cause I feel like how would how would if you try to if you talking to another woman, you know what I'm saying? If y'all done moved on and you still paying her bills, how she gonna feel about that? Right. You, to woman? you know what I'm saying? If I was a woman, I wouldn't fuck with no simp ass nigga doing that. <laughs> that that's <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> Cause you, you paying this. for her shit and you could be doing more for me type shit. That's how I would feel. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's, <good. laughs> that's 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 wild. <laughs> Any last thoughts before I throw in this this uh, this monkey wrench? Cause I watched the whole the whole clip. You got it, bro. So she got a new nigga. <laughs> that she got, got a good, whole man. new nigga, and dog still paying for her shit. Still, still. That's the nigga. Her and, and both of them know. <laughs> and he knows she got a new nigga. She said both of them know. What city they in? That's what's up. I don't even know that I didn't see. Some New Jersey shit. This is some New Jersey shit. Oh, <laughs> 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 like new nigga. Because one of the, uh, I think it's three people up there. It's a dude and two chicks. And one of the chicks uh, was like, uh, like how you dating out here? Like if a dude you dating find out you got, and she was like, I got somebody, and it was like, oh, he know you, he know. It was See? like, yeah, he know everybody know. See, that's the difference between <laughs> men and women, because niggas be like, all right, shit, cool, I ain't gotta pay that money. Yeah, on my life. <laughs> yeah, you and got that's it. That's exactly what she said. He said he was like, all right, cool, I ain't gotta pay your shit. This a chance for me and you to stack up our shit and mm-hmm. do what we gotta do. But shit, in my opinion, when the nigga was. Upgraded you like that And paying for You should have been Saving then True That just showed me How mm-hmm. stupid you are It took you To get with another nigga To tell you Okay this nigga Paying your shit You need to stack up You should have been doing that Been doing that And I don't know I don't know how it happened But instead of him Getting her that shit He could have been You know what I'm saying Putting that money Towards something else and you could have kept doing whatever you was doing before he put you in that loft in that bins, because you obviously can't maintain it on your own. Because you would have had her already. Before yeah. That. But then I could turn into some bullshit, so I wouldn't want to be that other nigga. But he he got it good though. <laughs> Man, he got it. Because he, he might dog might I don't know dog that's paying the rent ain't no telling what he might he might just flip on her ass. You know what I'm I would have been flipped on her ass. So then she got the. So she got another nigga. Why? Why, why am I paying this? Like, nigga, what? Just, nigga just start popping cut? up at the loft <laughs> and shit. Like what y'all doing? Oh, he like I pay for this motherfucker. I won't even been. I won't even <laughs> going in the refrigerator for that shit and shit. In the first place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then nigga might get on some other shit. So and then she said, "That's that's, that's, that's all that all bullshit." <laughs> I'm gonna need all them bags back. All right. He could just pop up one day. Like yeah, <laughs> let me get them keys. Quick. <laughs> so that's so how, that's just doing too much for me. That's a toxic situation right there. So yeah. would y'all date a woman like that? Fuck like no. date her? Fuck no. 
and another nigga is paying her bills? No. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that is a come up. I mean, now that she ain't, if she ain't did, if she ain't did shit to like, that's why I said probably. It's, it's like if she's working towards something, that's different. If she ain't working towards nothing, why? Like, why would you even do it there? Right. Why would you mess with a chick like that? She just living for free off everybody. Like, you don't want nothing like that. But if she's working towards something, <laughs> yeah, I probably do it. Mm. Yeah, I probably do it. So yeah. Like she had to be on her shit. But yeah, that wouldn't after you know what I'm saying? It it I she had to cut that loose after a while. Oh yeah, of course. Like, you know, you ain't doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she had been done figure shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, you fucking with big dog now. I know hmm. he was doing that. I got this. Cause it's cool Cause it's like shit I ain't gotta do it But then After <laughs> yeah, a while It's like, like <laughs> Alright You know what I'm saying After a couple of years You know It's like Not even after a couple of years Damn you like, You got like one year Right <laughs> You got like <laughs> you one give it year a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got like one year Go ahead Let him finish the year yeah, you, got one year, you got one year You got one year You got, one, you got, you got a few months That's all we need Shit Yeah Let's go Yeah <laughs> You know, since he's jumping in at the end. You know what I'm saying? You got about one year. You need to figure that shit out, though. He a man. I don't want to fuck with his pride. Who am I? Shit. Don't let me get in the way. What's your your thing, bro? I wouldn't. No? No, I'm good. Like, hell no. That shit just too toxic all the way around. Like, no, huh? I might just snap one night, be like, come in the middle of the night, hey, you talking about my exactly shit? Exactly what I was thinking, bro. Thinking this draw, sleep, this exactly shit. Exactly what, what I was thinking. No, at you, first, bro. I was like, yeah, this shit. Then I was like, no. Because <laughs> then I, 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 I thought about it. I was like, mm-hmm, I don't know, dog. Because I started thinking about, like, if I'm the nigga that's paying, like, if I'm paying, wherever I'm paying any rent, mortgage, or whatever, I got a key. Right. Ain't no one in hell I'm paying bills somewhere And hell I ain't got yeah. no key oh, It ain't happening She said they ain't got no key? I don't know um, But I'm just saying In my mind I'm thinking like If I'm paying bills somewhere I got a key I got So a if key I'm dating this and woman And she telling me Another nigga paying <laughs> He got a key I'm not no, I'm Look, not pulling I got a key and the spare you. bedroom, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Mm, I'm popping up whenever. Yeah, I didn't whenever. want the master bedroom. <laughs> whenever. <laughs> I pay the bills there. This my shit. I, I, yeah, I come here whenever I want. the master bedroom. You go over there in the little, in the little bedroom. <laughs> and I'm going to lock my shit. You can live in this motherfucker, but you got the little bedroom. <laughs> Hell no. So let me ask y'all this. Would it be different if... Like let's say he was like a real estate investor type shit and he had his shit and he just let her move in there no. and then she ain't paying no bills. No. It's the same thing. Same That's thing. even worse. He losing money there. <laughs> plenty. Plenty. Exactly. He losing plenty <laughs> money there. Like plenty. he needs to be getting, he needs to be getting rent. If he's a real estate investor, he needs to be getting rent. Okay. I was just wondering if that might have changed it. I don't know For me that That's a little bit Different for me Cause it's like This yo shit You paying for Like Okay maybe you ain't Getting Like maybe you can Rent this out And get some money for it But At the same time You ain't paying Nobody else Like for her If she gonna move Somewhere else Like you're paying Somebody else for her to live somewhere versus this, like, this my shit. Like, I don't have to pay nobody else. But, you know, I'm not getting money that I'm supposed to be getting. But I'm not paying nobody else either. I feel like that's worse to me. Yes. But, I don't know. Mm. And she ain't even that cute. That's nah, the girl. No, no, me, I'm watching this. Like, no, nah, she not. Either way, you taking the L. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want one L is right here, one L down here. <laughs> so what's right here, what's down here? <laughs> so yeah, that's 
That's a sticky situation. Because that could turn into a, a thriller movie and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, on some stalker shit. <laughs> I'm still paying your bills. It's <laughs> coming by to check on you. Talking through the Find out that nigga living house. under the house and shit. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> the whole secret room. You oh, all God. in the shit with cameras. <laughs> they get done having a conversation. You know that bitch lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> all type of weird shit. And they throw it with a stethoscope and shit. <laughs> 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 hey, that was no. funny as a bitch. <laughs> he said, fuck the spa equipment. He said, I'm going old school. Then got a glass to the door and shit. <laughs> wow. You got the rings now. You see niggas pulling up on a ring, dumbbells. Pointing a pistol at it and then oh, shit. Fuck, stop. <laughs> that's my pussy. That's my pussy. Oh. That nigga, that's my pussy. I be nothing all in that pussy. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 At the yeah, the house house thing. <laughs> they in like, their sleep, kids sleep. <laughs> like that. That nigga's wild. I said, quit fucking playing with <laughs> 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 bro, it can't, bro. I don't believe it, bro. It ain't no pussy on this planet that's that good. Some motherfuckers had to take you there. <laughs> some motherfuckers had to take you there. Fam, I done had some good pussy in my life. I ain't never thought about doing no shit like that. You wouldn't believe what. So what it feel like with some Maybe my dick just better. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. It feel like it's some niggas. Some niggas go crazy over the, over the coochie, bro. Like, I'm real. not playing them games. Some yeah. niggas, that's as good as it's going to get. And they need to have it. <laughs> oh, I'm speaking of that, I meant to put that shit on there, too. The shit that you sent me that Jasmine Sullivan put up. About uh, oh, that, that uh, the Facebook uh, shit, yeah, with, uh, the craziest shit women in doing over some good dick, yeah. bro. It was some shit in yeah. there. It just kept getting crazier and crazy. That was wild. It was wild, dog. This one chick said she fell asleep. She slept in the nigga car outside his house mm-hmm. while Boy, he was there. sleep upstairs with his wife. Mm-hmm. Nuts. Yeah. It was going berserk, bro. I was like, oh, my God. Crazy. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Another chick says she, uh, she, like, planned they wedding and, and um, what's the shit after? Reception. For free. And act like she ain't know that nigga. Mm-hmm. The yeah. wedding. And she act like, and what she say? She act like uh, he didn't pay for that shit with money, with and, money sex. and sex. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, <laughs> they treacherous out here, treacherous, oh, bro. Smooth, scandalous, and shit. Devil in a dress, nigga. Mm. She said, "Oh, don't worry about it. I play it with it for free." <laughs> Dog had to be sweating the whole wedding though, bro. No had to be. Be. <laughs> They doing rehearsal. And this bitch walk out like the bride room. Like, what? <laughs> the little sinister laugh and shit. <laughs> Hell no. She walk out the dress like I planned her wedding. It <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way, bro. I'm not even risking it, bro. I'm not playing. I can't play them type of games with my life. With my the what <laughs> when Kevin Hart said the way my checking is set. Hey, the way the way my mind set up, the way my anxiety set up, I can't play them type of games. Man, man. that's. That's scary. Can't mm-hmm. take no chances. Somebody said I paid for his tux and her makeup for the wedding. I wasn't invited to. It wasn't invited to. Mm. The fuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's how she goes to the? See our wedding on Facebook. Then <laughs> yeah, somebody said uh, suggested. What to get his girlfriend for their anniversary while he was balls deep in me. Crazy. Pause. Wow. I had to oh, say. that one was That's crazy. <laughs> dog one? Oh, had someone I know steal his dog and then I helped him look for it 
just so I could be with them. That shit crazy. That's nuts. Yeah, that's... That's um, OD, bro. That's wild. I'm gonna pass that woman, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. After watching that thread, that one me make me want to test how good my dick is. <laughs> like, just ask the woman to do some wild ass like, shit. I was going to Nigeria and say these babies. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, you send me out there, I'm gonna say these babies right quick. <laughs> Damn, should I say this? <laughs> Say it. I'm going to say it. I'm probably going to cut it out. But I had a chick. We was actually together, too. But I had a chick ask me what we was together at one time about getting my name tattooed on her. And she asked me, she was like, should I get my your, your name tattooed on me? And I wanted so bad just to say yes, just to see if she was really do it. But just my conscience was like, no, I, I wouldn't feel good if she really did it. Mm. So I just said no. I was like, no, nah, you shouldn't do that. I was like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but I wanted so bad to just say <laughs> yeah, just to see if she really would. Yeah. I was like, yeah, go ahead. I already know. I would have been like, damn. Let me write it on you with markers just to see how that looks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I would have been like, if you would have did that, she probably would have went berserk. Berserk. You stop fucking That's with her. Yeah. Nigga be thinking about that shit like, <laughs> damn. I don't think it'd be that bad, though. <laughs> I'll be in, well, she ain't got my name name, but she got my nickname tatted on her neck, like behind her ear. Oh yeah, that's what's up. She did that shit when we was young. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, bro. Like she got that shit. When we was only like two, two or three years in. No, not even. No, that was like the first two years she got that shit. And I ain't even asked. Her. I don't remember asking her, but she did that shit. Came back from work one day. She was like, "Look, shot I'm like." Fuck <laughs> <laughs> What the hell you done did man? I said you I said you did that She was like yeah I said well, why you do that shit? I wanted to get it. I said oh shit, I like it shit <laughs> <laughs> But See, like She just went and did it though If she would've asked you What would you would've said Yeah Okay I respect no, that. that That was his thing that was just his thing before it was his thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, You are my lady. <laughs> my love. Oh God. Hey. Hey, you ain't wrong though. Oh, Y'all locked in shit. Boy. Oh, boy. But old hey, girl, you was talking together. about was y'all together? We wasn't together at the time. We had been together before though. Oh, okay. Okay. Well then I would've said Yeah then <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all would just smash it I would've been like Yeah go ahead Get that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit would've went Real bad I now though I would've gave it The fuck around And went on And moved on Had two kids That shit would've been Ooh She could've got it removed <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get it Nowhere stupid <laughs> Get it covered <laughs> Shit None of your worries Right yeah. Seen You still got that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then somebody said uh, Let him drive my boyfriend's car For the entire six months My That's boyfriend was deployed crazy If I was the nigga that was deployed And came back and found that out Everybody be dead <laughs> <laughs> It'd be some dead body And he, he was deployed too Oh yeah he know Nigga I hear my <laughs> shit I'm out here <laughs> Swinging that bitch, dog. <laughs> Shoot motherfuckers and shit. I got to get out here my shit. I could have been dead. I probably couldn't have had came back. Oh, right. yeah. If I would have came back, y'all be dead. Both of you and him. <laughs> Make Bro, I'd be dead. sick. Put any miles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, hey, no, look, look, just, 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 ima just imagine this, though. You overseas watching niggas in a car video. This shit, this nigga doing burnouts in your Camaro and shit. 
Hey, you don't even recognize this on Camaro. You just gonna think you're doing a bird off of the Camaro on this shore. This shit. Damn, that look like my shit. Damn, that look like my shit. I see that nigga. Damn. Wait a minute. Hold on. Zoom in. That is my shit. Oh, this nigga from Texas. Too. Like some, oh, one of them Texas plates. <laughs> this nigga from Texas too. That's my shit. We should wake up. See a little, your little parking permit thing in the window and I'm shit. <laughs> in the window, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hell no. Like God, yeah, like shit. Oh damn, this nigga from Texas too. He got Texas parking permit. Like hold up. <laughs> That be it too. Nigga, that's my permit. What is he doing? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Hey, then he call her and shit the next day. Somebody stole my shit. Ain't nobody stole that shit, baby. Oh, no, I seen my shit in the video. She had, my shit in the video. She, she had to just go with it. Cause what, <laughs> at that point, on what? <laughs> Damn, Damn, somebody <laughs> showed did. I was asleep, babe. I worked the double the right, well, I worked the Ain't nobody stole your shit. Hold on, let me go ahead and look. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you call the cops. That shit be your see as a bitch, dog. That's fucking that's hilarious. This nigga doing donuts and pick and say parking lot. Oh, you overseas right. fighting for the country and shit. Come back, your tires bald. Tires bald. <laughs> Radio up. Uh, feet, feet all back and shit. <laughs> nigga left had twenty five thousand on the dash. He come back, it's about forty. Forty on the driving this motherfucker. You been driving shit out this motherfucker. I ain't going nowhere but to to the gym. I know it's the keys. Don't what. <laughs> God damn. Man. You burnt that motherfucker up. Yeah, I probably, I probably, if I was in the army, I probably wouldn't even be able to keep my girl if I was like the poor shit. Like, hey, fine. <laughs> like, like, hey, let it be a stinking shit. Be like, you be like, you ain't, before I left, you ain't even know how to drive a stick. Who told you how to drive a stick? <laughs> oh, she been Fuck driving up. stick. <laughs> that shit scares me. Driving right? stick and riding dick. Oh, That's a horror story. Be all the way for it. You deploy, you come back, bitch pregnant. Car all fucked up And this your old car Niggas all in your house Like bro I should have scared the shit out of me I was like, I was like baby We gotta separate I don't need to see how you do that to somebody That's deployed How could you do that to somebody like that They don't care. You know the stories of motherfuckers That come back under They don't come back the same Yeah, yeah. So I ain't wild. know If he find out That's That's a bad ending Ain't no happy ending there. No, <laughs> That's bad ending. You feel this heartless. No, he going crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, well, on to the next. Let's get off the relationship shit. Get into some sports shit. Y'all seen the shit? Uh. It happened on first date. I, I didn't see exactly Milwaukee. What, I didn't see exactly what they said, but I was like, oh, I got I it right here. Let's this. play it. <laughs> so Stephen A, I'm worried about these des- these destinations that you po- you possibly have to go to for the NBA finals. I mean, no. <laughs> you really want to be in Mil- Milwaukee? Is that where you want to be? Last Milwaukee? year it was Miami. Hell LA. No. He's headed Hell between no. Phoenix and Milwaukee <laughs> now. Oh, what? A lot of segments a. going Stephen direct, a. right? You know what I just thought about, which is actually kind of funny? The only two times, the one time I didn't go to the Super Bowl, it was Minnesota. And this is the first year. I'm not sure what our plans are for first take, but I don't think we're going. Max and I will see. And it's going to be terrible cities. I mean, good karma for me on that. Terrible cities. Hold on, hold on, Molly. Didn't mean hold on, Molly. She meant, uh, hold on, Molly. Not, not this is, this, there is the news. There is breaking news here. I don't believe either of them are going to win their respective series, but I don't believe I've ever rooted for Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks, and the Los Angeles Clippers <laughs> more in my life. I don't believe I've done it. Atlanta, I don't believe I've ever rooted for them more in my life. That is true. Stephen A., you know what's so good about Atlanta, L.A., too, besides the cities, the flights. There's so many flight options yeah. as well. Listen, you're li- it might hey, have been Utah hey, and Milwaukee hey, this year, Stephen A. Hey. 
All I, all I know is this. When you get to those locations, it's worth the flight. I'll say that much. Atlanta and L.A. They ain't, I don't believe they're going to do it. I but miss, I've never no, rooted I miss for them Golden more in my State life. Being in the mix. I, I like when we were at that resort Ever. up at Golden State. That was yeah. nice. That was like being on vacation. Hey, Harry is nice. All right. We'll stay up on cast in L.A. then. Don't come to fucking Milwaukee. Like, damn. Like, don't fucking trash the city on live air. Just stay up on cast in L.A. If you want to, don't don't come. Don't go to the finals. That's all you got to do. Don't don't get paid, bitch. <laughs> Just don't go to the finals. <laughs> to it right away, then. I ain't even ask. I thought I was got to lead into it. Go ahead. Get your shit off, John. Like like that's your, that's unprofessional as fuck to just sit there and trash a city like that. Like bro, like come on now. We don't sit here and talk bad about Stephen A. Punk as NBA record. Like, dude was a fucking bum in the NBA, damn near. Like, oh, he was in the NBA. He was in the NBA. He was a fucking I did bum. Not know that? Because he, exactly. he was a bum, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. Never. Bum my ass, nigga. No. <laughs> I know he played ball, but I didn't know he was in the NBA. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I what y'all think? Me. Fuck the niggas. <laughs> Fuck the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, no bullshit. Hey, be honest with you. Niggas don't even watch first take no more. Mm mm. Let's definitely fuck with uh my boy, Young Shannon Sharp. Mm mm. Yeah. Skip. He played one year. Exactly. Oh, man. Eight games. Let's get some. Let's look at the. You can't see the stats on them games. Eight games. Eight games. 2006 76ers. Eight games. Three and a half minutes. Point six. Fuck was he doing? Points. <laughs> How you get points? That's, that's not. That's not him, On twenty five percent shooting at that. God that damn. That ain't him, bro. Oh, it's not. That's Steven. Oh, yeah. like, six. <laughs> Oh, I just think he ain't playing the NBA. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, I thought that's he why did. I didn't think he did. Nigga, who he was you thinking about? Steven Smith, <laughs> the one that stats I'm looking at right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. I said he played in 06 too. <laughs> that's what I was looking oh, at. Oh yeah, like, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. 06, yeah, no, yeah, that nigga like 50, no. right? <laughs> 50 years ago. Well, I mean, he still got kind of a brother, but he's 35. It was a nigga that was a rookie that was, like, it was a couple of people that was rookies at like 30 something. Well, what y'all think? What you think, Cuzzo? Nigga, get them Kia boys to get on your ass. Stop, man. No. <laughs> them Kia boys. <laughs> we were talking about the video earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck stuff, this whip and shit. Was dancing I'm gonna show you how we get down in Milwaukee. Pull it off in the whip. <laughs> yeah. Say, hey, this is blasphemous. <laughs> Somebody, you gonna steal my Corvette? Call a cop. Niggas don't see. No, no, he said ESP and Coos. They said. <laughs> so I walked in the gas station. She was like, y'all got some ESP and Coos? No, okay. No, he said the first take Coos. Yeah, if you had the first take Coos, first take Coos. <laughs> uh, that nigga had me rolling, dog. Man. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Don't come then, bitch. Right. <laughs> like, don't fucking Simple come. That, like, it's, yeah, it's that. You already don't give a fuck. Care. Right. <laughs> really don't give a fuck. Like, you just want to see them niggas win the championship. That's we it, don't, bro. we literally don't give a fuck if y'all are in the city or not. Right. That's it. You can, you could, you could have stayed right. home. Right. You said it's because of the pandemic. Right. And we, 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 we don't, don't nobody it, gave us right. fuck. Like, it's it's Shaq, niggas. Right. right. That was exactly. like, like, that's all the fuck we want. TNT crew. Right. 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 I don't know. I don't. That was probably in the studio because it was going to recording in the studio. Might have to be here for the finals. No, I don't think TNT don't do the finals. It's only ESPN, right? Uh, ABC. Channel Twelve. But that's ESPN. ABC yeah. is ESPN on ABC. Oh, well, I so guess yeah. I guess ESPN it would be them crew. Then. Yeah, and I guess like they just do the uh, the show that they do. Probably in Atlanta. 
Well, no. Ain't the studio in Atlanta? Yeah. The uh, TNT crew, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Should it, what's, the, what's their show called? After the after the game? After the uh, game show. Inside the NBA? Yeah, inside yeah. the NBA. They probably just do that. Funny as shit. They'll be on TV. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Shuck, Chuck and uh, Shaq. Them niggas hilarious. Oh, <laughs> they be Shaq fucking clowning. <laughs> Anytime Shaq, every, every time Shaq be growing, he want to fight and shit. What you say, Chuck? Take his glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, Chuck? Hey, he gonna fight man. or he gonna be like, I got four rings. Go on. Let me reach you up. Those niggas got me crying laughing, dog. Yeah, them niggas funny. Yeah, I don't know. For me, <clears throat> I think Miley the only one that says something like real terrible. Yeah, she, said she literally the one that said it was titties, terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then them niggas but, didn't disagree, so they just yeah, lumped them yeah, all together. Like, and they just got on Steve and Steve and Steve. Because they pretty much agree with her. Because it was pretty much agreeing with her. I think Stephen A was just saying he don't want to come here. And I, I, I'm not mad at that. He didn't diss the city. He just said, I don't want to come here. He didn't say it was a yeah. terrible city. He didn't say anything bad about it. He He'd just said, I'd cities. rather go to L.A. and Atlanta than Milwaukee and Phoenix. This Phoenix, too. He didn't just, <laughs> yeah. he didn't just diss Milwaukee. He diss Phoenix, yeah. too. So he just said, I'd rather go to I'd rather it be Clippers versus Atlanta than Phoenix versus Milwaukee. But I, I think it's going to be Milwaukee versus Phoenix. Yeah, I hope it's Milwaukee versus Phoenix. I know, I'm know i pretty sure Phoenix going to make it. I don't know if Milwaukee going to make it, but I'm pretty sure it's Phoenix. Oh, Milwaukee going to make it, bro. It all depends if Kawhi come back for the Clippers. Yeah. Because PG ain't, he can, nah, PG he ain't can. consistent no more. Bro, PG can do it, bro. He can do it, but... PG can do it. I think he done. I ain't gonna lie to I ain't gonna say he done. I just think he just ain't gonna pull it through, dog. Like, nah, I don't think he'll It ain't the same it. PG we used to seeing, dog. Yeah. Like, and this, this, po- yeah, this post-injury, yeah, this post-injury type shit. So he ain't as explosive as he used to be. He still attacked the rim and shit, though, but... He, I don't know, man. Niggas start just trying to sh- they just start if shooting they make it, the game. It's cause of Talu. Talu way better coach than Doc. I didn't think he was. I thought they when he won it with LeBron, it was just cause of LeBron. But after seeing him with the Clippers and where they came back in the last series, like yeah, this nigga can coach. No bullshit. That nigga Talu can coach. And as a Laker fan, I should root for him. But <laughs> I ain't, I just didn't think it. But it worked out. And then you see with Philly, Philly getting bounced. First round. Right. Atlanta and shit. Trey Young. That boy, the next phenom, him, Booker. And it's then even time. speaking of coaches, that nigga, uh, What's the Atlanta coach? What's his name? Your yeah, intern coach right now. They still ain't getting this nigga no contract. Kyle, I think talking about uh, Nate McMillan. McMillan. Yeah, yeah. McMillan. I said still ain't got this nigga no contract. They fired the last coach yeah. in the middle of the season. And he but, he was 35 and 15, I think, once he came in. I think they was below 500. They started he that, yeah, they had over. a bad start to the season. Yeah, they started they off like four and zero or five and one or some shit. No, and after that, they, they went to shit. I think and they hit like they 20, fired the coach yeah. and he came in. He raised him up like that. And they still ain't getting this nigga no contract. They still ain't saying he gonna be the coach. Shit, that might be him. He might want to just try it out. Type shit. They don't give it to him. Shit, if they win this series, shit. Man, when once they won the, the B Philly, he should have a contract. That too. Yeah. He should have a contract after yeah, that. That too. That after true. he beat New York, I think he should have one. But I could kind of see you like, okay. Making it to the New playoffs, York, they should have one. You said what? Making it to the playoffs, he should have one. Yeah. 
Nobody, that, that nobody, start they had. Yeah, nobody yeah. predicted Atlanta making it to the playoffs. AFC, they was a rebuilding team. Mm-hmm. Like, Y'all make it to the conference finals. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear all the little crackling in my ear right now. <laughs> these are these are new. These are yeah. Oh, fancy. They a little bit smoother than the other ones. That's why I got these. Yeah. Cause I had to buy another one. Cause one of them broke. Well, mine broke. So mine was the first one I like this. And then after I was like, yeah, I like like this one. It's a little bit smoother when you kind of adjust the name. But the other one, it would you'd be creaking in this shit. <laughs> like, I'm going to get all the... That ain't silky. Yeah. Silky, silky. But, uh, so Stephen A was talking to... I forgot her name. Trish Takanawa. That's her name? That's the her. No. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the new that's chick on uh family guy. <laughs> the new chick on don't, don't listen to me. On some, some show or some shit? On Family Guy. It's the new oh, chick on Family Guy. Look at the interest. No, she on she on Fox Six on the news here. I don't I forgot her name. I thought her name was Joyce or some shit like that. It might be Joyce might say it here. Meet Laura, a nurse but, who overcame yeah, a traumatic he, uh, brain injury, now studying to become a healthcare. Yeah, so he, I guess he got on with Fox Six News here and tried to explain what he was saying. Show a tattoo or some shit like that. I don't know she was on the vaccine. That's why I muted that shit. This thing. So, um, tell me your stance on this, Stephen. I mean, you're getting you're getting a lot of heat for this. You know this. Um, I don't care. Um, I said what I meant. I meant what I said. Um, I think that people in Milwaukee are completely overreacting. I've never said anything about the organization. I've never said anything about the people. Um, That's not a place that I like being because of the cold weather. Just like I don't like Chicago. Just like I don't like Detroit. Just like I don't like Minneapolis. Um, I went up. I I have a a friend that was a college teammate of mine. Who's been living That's in Minneapolis the for the last 25 yeah, years. And I went to Minnesota a couple of years ago with the Super Bowl. And he brought his children to meet me. And my first question to him was, how could you do this to them? Because I was talking about how I'm vicious the cold is. Here. I just wanted to hear that first part fast forward. It's what matters. And indoors at the forum, I have no problem with it. The Hyatt and other hotels there, I've got no problems with it. The people there, I love them. I love it. I got friends there, okay? But that weather, I want no parts of it. I will never apologize for it. And I'm never going to take back my words on not liking cold weather because Milwaukee is far from the only city that I have complained about with cold weather. Man, that's some bullshit. Right. But what about in the summer? I mean, seriously, like, would you come visit? Would you come to cover these games? I haven't been there in the summer. And why won't I come to Milwaukee in the summer? You tell me what's going on there. I have, listen, as a, as, as a person who is not from Milwaukee, who knows very little about Milwaukee, why would I think to come to Milwaukee in the summer? We, we got Summerfest, we got we got State Fair, we got broads, we got food on the state, and we got the best beer in the country. I mean, come on now, give us that. I don't drink. I don't drink beer. That's number one. Number two, excuse me, um, Chicago's just two hours away. I mean, I can get a lot in Chicago. Ooh. We know about Shot Town, but I don't even want to go to Shot Town. Okay, now Man, turn this nigga off. It's a little safe to go there in June, <laughs> July, August. That's all I wanted to do. Nice. Right, so here. I one would assume that the weather is nice in Milwaukee as well. That's the nigga talking about the wintertime. That nigga is summertime. That's exactly what I said. That's the first thing that I said. I was like, nigga, it's summertime. (laughs) If they go to the final, nigga, it's going to be July. (laughs) Smack that middle in the summer. Listen, this one I knew he was full of shit. He said, why would I want to come there in the summertime? Nigga, why wouldn't you want to come here in the summertime Then if all you've been here in the winter? All right. Like, you full of shit, bro. Like, like you're full of shit. Bro, you from New York. He's full of shit. It's cold there too. He's full of shit, brother. Ten times cold. Right. I don't know if it's colder. It might be. But I know they get a lot more snow than we get. Yeah. They be getting 
They get a Smacks. lot more they snow get, than we get. Yeah, for sure. We, we by the lake. So exactly. And they get that after yeah. lake effect yeah. snow. Yeah, we by, we by the lake, so we be straight. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, 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 get, they get fucked up. They should be super trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, full of shit, though. Lucy, <laughs> well, I want to come there in the summer. I can go to Chicago. It's two hours away. Bro, why wouldn't you want to come here in the summer and check Probably it out? An hour and a half. But still, like, he don't know how to. Compare. He don't know. He, he don't know the speed limit rules, so he don't. He don't know he can make it there in an hour and a half. <laughs> he gonna drive the speed limit. He don't know the rules. Hey. And if you, even if you come here for the finals, if you want to go down to Chicago, and you could do that, yeah. they ain't gonna play for another two days. Right, like you can you can make it to Chicago hey, and make come it and to make Milwaukee, it down here. do the game, go hey, back down to Chicago, to Chicago. Right, after. All right? Take your ass to Chicago. <laughs> you will make it back to Chicago after the game. <laughs> What y'all think on all that? I think the whole the video before that and it. Man, fuck the niggas. <laughs> hey man, where's Shaq at? I know that. I know. I know something different, nigga. Where's Shaq at? Fuck this. That's all that matters. Right. Already. Already. Already from here. Since some yeah. real niggas. <laughs> There's some real niggas up here. <laughs> Them niggas gotta watch what they say on on, on there anyway. Shit. Can't speak their mind. Facts. I heard about them kid boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what y'all think about the petition? Y'all signed a petition. There's a petition for what? For them not to come here. Oh, for no, oh no, that's doing too much. First take. Right, that's, that's I think that, I, in, that, in, that, in that clip, I think he, I, they, actually they, she said they had uh, okay, twenty five hundred signatures. Oh, that's that's just doing too much. I think if they came here, they'd they already really be scared Milwaukee, from talking shit. Oh, let He's them come, coming. right? Let them come. <laughs> like, like, bro, bro they gonna get, the they get hell if they came here anyway. I'm deserving and worthy of more than twenty five hundred. They gonna get boo. Wow, wow, who does that? Who Go. calls for a ban? Hey. You really don't want to come to Milwaukee, do you? I'm still coming. I'm still. If y'all are in the finals, you could have a million signatures. I'm still coming. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me from coming to the NBA finals of like this Milwaukee. Been like, but I won't be happy about it out. because <laughs> That's I'm, what I'm, cold like, on the I'm that, coming. That I'm, I'm still out. coming. <laughs> I'm of more than 2,500 signatures. I mean, they need to step their game yeah, up. I mean, just 2,500. That's, That's all. Funny. Please. That's nothing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think that was in like two days. <laughs> that's funny. This game. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, hey, they got a petition. Niggas really mad though. <laughs> yeah. I was seeing people post it, and I was like, "Damn, did they shit on the city? The owner made a statement and shit about it." I was like, "Damn, did they shit on the city like that?" Kind and I went and watched it. I was like. All right, I guess I kind of get it. It wasn't that bad, but I like guess. I understand what he's what the, what they saying though. Like compared to going to other cities, I can understand. Like oh, why yeah, would they want to come compare here? Compare it to L.A. and yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, That's yeah, what they saying. Course. But Smart. you know, ain't, niggas ain't taking it that serious. Man, but they didn't have like, to make it a whole thing. Yeah, they just like made like a whole <laughs> fucking thing. Like oh, I gotta go to. I don't want to go to Milwaukee or Phoenix. I miss Golden State being in the playoffs. Like, bitch. You should be happy there's new teams in the playoffs. Right. Like, this is something new. Right. You should be happy that there's new faces. I just let them know that shit was real. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going to state in the finals. Exactly, motherfuckers. Like, I, I know a lot of people that I know. Like, you just said, a lot of people I know that's basketball fans. Like, I'm glad it's some new team. Yeah, like, this a whole, this a, all, any of them, if any of these four make it, this is all, they gonna be brand new team. Right. See, these four in the finals right here is a brand new team. Hell yeah. Like, like bro, you know ain't how, no like, LA, ain't no New York, ain't no Miami, mm-hmm. ain't no Golden State, ain't any no team with LeBron. Chicago. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's just like, 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 don't get me wrong, I, I respect LeBron's game. I think he he's fucking number two to me. Like, 
but it's just like it's, it's fucking exhilarating to finally see like LeBron's not in the playoffs, Steph Curry's not in the playoffs. It's, it's, it's good to not see that. Like that means that, that means that there was competition. Like even if there was injuries, there was competition. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's just good to see that. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this thing on? Hmm. You really want that cookie? Oh, yeah, <laughs> My boss bought his chicken right. away for lunch. I'm good. For them cookies ever since. We in the game. I have one. We back, we back, we back. What's your offer, man? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm not taking anything less than two dollars. <laughs> you taxed it. Think we taxed it. Man, if I had more than one, I'd give it to you. I ate my other one at the movies. I know. I've seen. I've seen, I've seen you. <laughs> I almost wanted to chick fil before I came over here. I'm like, nah, I'll make some shit later. All right, so what y'all was saying now? I forgot. Yeah, we cut that part out. Got to. <laughs> uh, he was saying say something. He was about to say something like li- <laughs> literally a few seconds ago. Damn. I forgot. That's all right. What were we talking about? Yeah, I forgot. We were talking about Stephen A. First take, shit on Milwaukee. Yep, I forgot. That's all right. It don't matter. We good. I just know it's fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh, well, we'll get into uh, Father's Day. Because I was high at, you know what I'm saying? But I want to talk about Father's Day. We can't skip over Father's Day. This is a... This is a men. This is a men's country folks say this is a men's mm-hmm. men's the men's. It's yeah. a men's podcast. <laughs> yeah, sound like my pops. <laughs> <laughs> so we got it. We can't skip over Father's Day. Father's Day was last weekend. We didn't get the chance to record, but uh, yeah, we can't skip over Father's Day. So it's two fathers here. Oh, I don't know. You a stepfather? Either one of y'all stepfathers? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Stepdaddies? Not yet. Play that role. But they still call me daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Been called daddy before. Poppy, you know what I'm saying? That's hey. about it. That's close I'm going to get. <laughs> so we got stepfathers here. Mm-hmm. How y'all spend your father's day? Play by the... Hmm? No, I was just looking at see what was up in here. Shit, I had a... She got some gifts. Shit. Cooked. Steak. Smoked. I think it was a game on, I think. I don't remember. I know I sleep most of the day. I, that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. It's a good day. <laughs> got it with your pops. <clears throat> yeah, I did link up with pops low key. Mm-hmm. Linked up with pops. Oh. Had to see Big Fella. That was about it. What about y'all? How y'all spend your father's day with y'all fathers? I just, we just took my pops out to eat. That's it. I don't really do too much for Father's Day and Mother's Day. Because they always throw, like, big birthday parties and big celebrations and shit for their birthday. So we just keep, like, the little, little holidays to a minimum. Father's Day and Mother's Day and shit like that, we don't really celebrate. We just go out to eat, call it a day. I'm saying... So. I was door dashing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the people they fool. That's it. There you go. Nothing exciting. How about you? Um being a father and having a father. You know, you know my kids don't live here right now at the moment, so just got the face time in for a little bit. Now it's it. Then I went to church with Pops. He said that was the only thing he wanted me to do with him. So I got him a little cheap ass card. Just that say <laughs> since he said that's that was the only one he wanted me to do with him was go to church. So I went to church with him and 
It was nice little mm-hmm. sermon. You know, I ain't been in church in a while. I probably ain't been in church in a couple of years. They hit you so, with the holy water? Nah. <laughs> oh, me. Nah. They ain't hit you with the oil or nothing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just splash you right what? quick. <laughs> you the symbol, symbol. <laughs> you ain't been in a while. That shit probably hey, starts nah. steaming. Hey, <laughs> hey, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They follow God and, you know what I'm saying, the Bible and shit, but they still believe in COVID. Mm-hmm. So they had social distancing in there and stuff. So, yeah, because you like, they might in that, that church, they got uh, individual seats where they can move them however they want to because they got all, because they got a school there too. So they do all type of stuff. So they had oh, that shit. area where so they can move the seats out. But they only had, they had rows. I think they had one, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe six. Like rows, I guess, but they had it where it was like three over here, and then in the next section, it'd be like only two seats, and this section would be three seats, and I think the section over here probably was like four seats. Mm-hmm. So it was all separate. So when I was with my, I think our section actually had four, two, but it was me, just me, my mom's, and my pops sitting by each other. So yeah, because they, be, they do all type of shit where they, have certain stuff where they invite people down. We supposed to, you know, to get saved and first time attendees. We supposed to go and greet them and do stuff like that. They had all that shit separated. They used to pass, you know, you well, y'all been to church where they yeah. passed the back. They don't do that no more. They, the they had the ushers with a basket and it was just pointed in yeah, your row. He had it on where you to dump it shit. in there. A long stick. <laughs> yeah. Put that shit in your face. <laughs> so <laughs> I <was> like that. <laughs> but yeah, my father day was cool. Getting to spend it with my pops. Not getting to spend it with my kids was unfortunate, but you know. It was it was planned on being that, but uh, some other shit came up that I ain't gonna speak on because that's personal business. But yeah, it was a good reason, so I'm not bad. It was a good reason for them to miss it. Well, yeah. I don't know, man. How how y'all feel about Father's Day? Like, what y'all think about? Father's Day, not even just Father's Day, just holidays like that, where you're supposed to celebrate a specific type of person type shit. As far as Father's Day, I feel like it should be like a reverse day. Like, I should, like if you a good father, this should be the day you be a deadbeat type shit. Like, deadbeat shit today. Like, day is that day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Rejoice. Like, like, wake up, like, you know what I mean? Like, man, dude, I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids. Fuck them kids. Like, what does Jordan mean? Fuck them kids. I ain't got no kids. 12 to 12. Fuck them little niggas. 12 a.m., motherfucker. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to hear shit. No, I can't fix this. I ain't doing that. None of that shit. He said, fuck your for it. In my life. <laughs> I can't do, I can't Damn, fix uh, it. Right <laughs> <laughs> None of that. He said, fuck your for it. Damn, life. Rodney. <laughs> Why are you on that, dog? <laughs> fuck your for it, little nigga. I think that shit should be like enforced. Like, you got to do the reverse. And like, if you a deadbeat, like, this the day you got to be a full daddy. Take care of your shit. dad and no shit. Bullshit. You got to take care of your kids. And dad shit. or either kids. I I yeah. rather just say like kids though. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying. If you got kids, kids you like, take care of your kids. No bullshit. Yeah. Like police got to come follow your ass around. Like nigga, the day you, you know what I'm saying. The minute you <laughs> fuck off, we finna throw your ass in cuffs. Like, <laughs> you should go to jail. You should be jail. Ball, <laughs> we finna whip your motherfucking head, boy. Beat the fuck out <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> 
Purge. <laughs> Purge. <laughs> oh, my life. <laughs> but you think about it, though. Hey, low key, though. That was psycholog- <laughs> psychological shit that'll would, make a nigga be like, you know what? I'm it was just a Be my shit. kids' lifetime <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Except for the dead B shit, because that shit might go left. <laughs> Some yeah. niggas might not want to go back. <laughs> <on one. laughs> I'm free. <laughs> Oh, what the? I was going crazy today. Nah, I'm good. That sounds like a good ass skit, though. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's a good ass movie. Nigga, fuck that. Nigga, that's a good movie. That's what I'm saying. That's why I compared it to the purge. I was like, nah. that, that's exactly what made me that's think. That's a good ass movie. Sure. I got to get that in production. Oh, what the? <laughs> Now you, gotta, now you gotta cut that shit out. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> steal the idea. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's tight though. I like yeah, that. <laughs> For the niggas who own that shit every day, no what? break. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Don't ask me to do nothing. I wake up and on shit. Then you ask me. You know what I'm saying? How I want my eggs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How I want my state. Don't even ask me that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, know what? you ain't here, little nigga. I'm not here. I'm, don't ask me shit. <laughs> yeah. No bones. No, cereal, ask me what I want. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Any, ask me. Check up on me. To, do I need anything? Don't ask me for nothing. Have you ate yet? Mm-hmm. I ain't heard. Have I ate? <laughs> I'm still thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still parched. My fact. I'm over here Let me see if my bath water been ran. Oh, no. <laughs> I see I need to book me a motherfucker hotel. Where my bell? Oh, what Ring though? my bell. Right. Shit. My cup is empty. <laughs> Motherfucker walking out the door with a whole duff. Well, daddy, where you go? I ain't coming back. <laughs> what do you say? I'll be back uh, at the night. Nice. <laughs> you put your mama on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> be your ass. He said, I'll be back at 11.59. Father's Day is what she said, what did you ass say on Harlem Nights? How the girl was so good, you throw it in the head, it turned into sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had that yet. <laughs> like you was talking about earlier, yeah. I ain't had that one yet. I ain't never had no pussy that good. Make I me call, some good pussy call. in my life. <laughs> I ain't never had no pussy that day do me some shit like that. The baby be making status like I'm off the market, y'all. Or make a put have a I put that shit in the group text. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had none that that good yet. Hell no. Like make me just be like, you know what? I'm I'm <laughs> I'm gonna call it a quits. <laughs> you know what? That's been a good run. <laughs> <laughs> I done had my fun and got it all done. God damn it, ain't nothing else I could do. Man. Got me hooked. <laughs> 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 So, so this that shit you was talking about in them Texas, huh? <laughs> okay. No, I, I believe no. I, 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 I believe it you the whole time. I understand where you coming from now. <laughs> you never lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were lying. You were lying. <laughs> oh God, man. So I probably should have brought this up off off the. Uh, the relationship topics we talked about, but I didn't want to talk about it. Did y'all see this shit? Mm-mm. Jay the Pink and Smith, Tupac Leather for his birthday, for his 50th birthday. I think this was like the week before Father's Day, too, and shit. Mm. Let me see. Is she gonna read it on here? I'll pull this up. As many of you know, today is Pac's birthday. He would have been 50 this year. And of course, you know, I went down memory lane. Over the years, Pac wrote me many letters and many poems. And I don't think this one has ever been published, honestly. He had a song called Lost Souls on um, the gang-related soundtrack. But I believe this was the original concept because he wrote this, I believe, when he was at Rikers. And I was like, I don't think he would have minded that I share this with you guys. Some say nothing gold can last forever. And to believe this, I need no proof. I've witnessed all that was pure in me. 
and be changed by the evil men can do. The innocence possessed by children once lived inside my soul, but surviving years with criminal peers has turned my warm heart to cold. I used to dream and fantasize, but now I'm scared to sleep, petrified not to live or die, but to awaken and still be me. It is true that nothing gold can last. We will all one day see death. When the purest hearts are torn apart, lost souls are all that's left. Down on my knees, I beg of God to save me from this fate. Let me live to see what was gold in me before it's all too late. bad about it what does she keep that in because that looks like a new piece of paper <laughs> <laughs> it, don't, it, don't even, it don't even look laminated hey oh what like he just wrote that that's shit. why I was thinking about that the whole time oh he just wrote that shit like he just wrote at that least shit. 25 years old right right mmm mm. I couldn't get past that, so I don't. I don't really got much to say about it. <laughs> but I don't. So here's this. This is where I'm at with it. As Will Smith, how do you feel about it? I mean, I don't feel any type of way because it's not like no love poem or anything like that. Okay. It's just a, it's a fucking it's a poem. Like, like to me, that's just a it's a poem about him. Like that's a poem about his soul. To me, like that's a poem. That's a poem about him. It's you not think like this no. the only poem she got. No, no, hell she no. She got more stuff. Hell no, she's she got, got way more. more. Letters and stuff. She, bro, she's got some poems for her. She's she's got to. If she's got that, so she's got again, some poems again, for her. once again, but then as again, like Will Smith, said, she pulled this poem out. You like, oh, I know you got some other poem. Of course, but like. I don't know about Will Smith at the same time, so you know, like. <laughs> I mean, after that whole August shit, yeah, after, I mean, after that shit, I shit, ask that you, shit yeah, like, did y'all, y'all watch um, the shit with him and Kevin Hart on the red table talk? Mm-mm. I just watched it today. Mm. What about it? Yeah, he was kind of looking like. No, yeah. I was just. He was like, eh. No, I was just Did bringing it up as something that was out there. Mm. But. So that's it? Y'all ain't got nothing else? Cause of, I, don't, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Just like she reading the old, old friend's poem. Yeah, that's what it just seemed like. But that's at the same it. time, that ink looks pretty fucking fresh. Yeah, that's so. what I was saying. The paper and the ink the look like somebody in, just wrote that shit and looks folded fresh it up. As fuck. That's well, why I'm like, what's she keeping in? It looked like Maybe it was folded up. Money. At that time, she had money. So I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, once he died, she probably... So you're saying she rewrote it? No, she probably found a good way to preserve it. There's no way you can preserve it. Ink and pen like that. Ink and pen it ain't like laminated. That. It laminated. <laughs> no. I mean, she might have had it not laminated, but she might have had it in a little plastic sleeve or something, in a binder or some shit, mm-hmm. and then just pulled it out at this point. Man, fuck all that. I mean, I've seen this shit that I done. It ain't. You know what it is? Probably is close to 25 years ago. Some shit that I did from, bro, my mama, my mama saved everything from what I'm her only child. So she saves everything that I did. And I've seen shit that I did I in elementary good. school. I got my And the shit looked <laughs> like I could have did it just now. Yeah. It looked like I could have did it today. Yeah. Last month, two months, maybe a couple years ago. It looks that good. Yeah, I got some. Uh, I and she ain't even got, got it laminated. Like she just got it like in a safe type shit. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They never kept my portfolio. So I, <laughs> I don't have. I don't have a portfolio. I would know. My sister has one, but I don't. So I don't know. Oh, yeah. They didn't fuck with you like that. They turned like tugging on some heartstrings. <laughs> Play a little piano a little, or a little violin. violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on my own. I'm on my own's only child, so she got everything that I got. To this day, 
Like, I'm, pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can go over there to tomorrow and she'll show me some some new shit that I ain't seen shit, from yeah. when I was a kid. Mm. Yeah, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it did look kind of new though. I was like, damn. No, I didn't think about it. Now you said that. I'm like, yeah, I do got some no, shit. No, yeah. My still. mom got some shit. When you said it, I thought about that too. And I started <laughs> thinking about my mom. My mom got shit, bro. It's some shit that I didn't seen really like since I had my first son in the last four years. Start breaking she didn't start showing me shit. Yeah. <laughs> that I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> damn. Like, she got shit. Like, it's shit that I don't even remember. Like, uh, like I don't consider myself an artistic type of person, but she got shit that I drew. And the shit look good as hell. Hey, let me see Yeah like She showed me that shit I was like Damn I drew that I couldn't believe it I'm like I drew that for real It was probably a Jordan Wasn't it <laughs> No It was like It was like, it was like nature shit Like Bugs and birds and shit Yeah And I looked at it I was like Damn I killed that shit I got it wasn't I, elementary. I it was shit. like middle school, so it's probably like twenty years ago. Uh, not qu- not twenty five. Like that's probably twenty five years ago, plus. But this that was probably like twenty eighteen years ago. And I was like, damn, when I drew this shit. That shit looked good as hell. <laughs> Man, I don't know, bro. I can't call it. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it though. So you wouldn't have no problem with your woman pulling out a poem of her potential ex. I don't think it's ever been like confirmed that that, that was a thing. Was it? Has it been? No, I don't know. They, they, as far as I know, they always they just, just been friends. Super cool, yeah. yeah. So, but still, nah. like in the back of your mind, come on, we we men. You fucked that nigga. Just see exactly. That's always gonna be in the back. <laughs> exactly. Like, you like. Of course, hey, like, of no course, in the back way. of my mind, I'm gonna be you like, can't be that close to this. In the back of my mind, mind I'm like, yeah. If, you if, did maybe this if shit. I was around during that time where y'all was that cool. It'd be like, okay, I know he didn't fuck. Man. But if I just came along after, no. I'm thinking y'all fucked. I'm like, yeah, he did that shit. You can't tell me y'all ain't fucked. Y'all ain't do something. Maybe y'all ain't fucked. Y'all seen each other naked. Did a little (laughs) something. Something something happened. It's Pac, bro. Yeah, Yeah, and it's Pac. That nigga loved women, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. They fucked. (laughs) <laughs> that nigga love women bro. I saw um, I saw Some shit today Today I don't know if it was today or today But anyway I saw some shit Where he was on A different world yeah. And I didn't even know She was on a different yeah, world yeah. I didn't know that mm-hmm. That was a good ass show It's on yeah. Amazon Right yeah, now Yeah I didn't yeah. know She was on there But they show Where he came on there And he was supposed to be her Ex boyfriend, yeah, yeah. She moved mm-hmm. and went to the school there. She was from Philly, I think, mm-hmm. which is ironic. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, yeah, she was from Philly, and she said it was it was him and two other people. I think it was a girl and another dude that was supposed to be her mm-hmm. friends. Yeah, from Philly. I remember that. Dead. And I saw that. And he was supposed to be her ex boyfriend. They was kissing all in that. He was kissing all in her, rubbing all in that. Mm-hmm. And it's TV. Yeah. And it's like, as a man, you know, we all man. Like we, you know, what I'm saying we try to act hard, but if you seen your chick, that's why I couldn't even date no actor. Mm-mm. Mm, Ain't no way in hell You could be kissing on nothing I don't care if it's acting I can't see that Shit Can't do it 
And she a she a cold ass actor. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go ahead, get your paper, boo boo. You know I can't saying? do it. Especially if it's like a Sanaa Lake or something. I ain't tripping. <laughs> Shit, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. If I if if I so magically got the chance to date an actor that was that good and you know what I'm saying at that level, I wouldn't show my insecurities. But man, that should be killing me on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> that should be killing me. Like, like, ah. bro, you kiss, <laughs> bro, you kissing Denzel? You kissing Will Smith? You kissing Pop? You kiss? No, I ain't. Me? <laughs> this nigga's like, no, I want to go to your movie I'm premiere. I'm regular as hell. <laughs> hey, I was just gonna say that nigga be at the premiere, like, uh, oh, my chest. Oh, can't do it. <laughs> hey, I'll be on the red carpet taking the pictures, like. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be fucked up and inside. Fucked up, bro. I could face like, I could face like bro. this. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Yeah, they got to think, motherfuckers probably be feeling salty too, cause they, they probably don't need to be describing the motherfucking scenes all the way through and shit. Like, oh, you didn't say, oh, this was gonna be in there. exactly like, you watching the movie for the first time. Like, uh-huh. I'm glad they don't pick, take uh-huh. pictures when we come out the premiere. <laughs> you know what? There will be some different pictures, cause yeah. you will be by your goddamn self in them pictures. Yeah, I wonder why they don't me, do that. I'm gonna meet you at the car. <laughs> That's crazy. I w- I wouldn't even trip though. I wouldn't even trip. I wouldn't trip at all. Yeah, that, that's nothing that trip about though. I mean, it's not like it was no, like, it, like love. It depends on who it is. If we talk, if it's Will Smith, Pop, Denzel, uh, Michael B. Jordan, bro, I'm not, I'm not tripping at all, bro. <laughs> As long as it ain't nothing Better sexual. Than me. Yes, it's not sexual. It's not. So oh, what if it go that. there? They had them scenes. So what if it go there? Oh, you talking about that? I was talking about the. I thought you talking about the phone yeah, still. You went about back phone. The scenes. The scenes. Yeah, the scenes. So no, what no. if it is sexual? That's that. She got her titties out on top of this nigga. Boy, that's 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 tough. That's a tough call. That she better have her drawers on. <laughs> 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 Granny Penny. She got drawers on. <laughs> you know what though? She oh, might have no drawers on. What is she Depending tell you? on what, depending what, on she? what they're working on, she might be on Stars or HBO or something. She <laughs> might <be laughs> they might be showing One of the that premium ad. channel movies. Yeah. They might be showing that. Ad. <laughs> <laughs> like like Holly Berry and Monster Ball. Exactly. But what like, is she? What is she getting her shit knocked Berry like that? Holly Monster Ball. You see her really good? Think we'd be at the premiere crying, bro. Oh my god. It'd be over. It'd be over. Nigga, we'd have to be sniffing. It'd be over. (laughs) Fuck you. My stomach. (laughs) Hey, what in a movie like that, dog? Where dog, uh, his wife was down there in some like a little skit or a player or some shit, and they went to the premiere and like she was down there getting. No, it was like a little movie. She was getting fucked in a movie type shit, and I I can't remember the name of the movie, dog. 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 It was a. It was a movie. Like I'm trying to think. I can't remember the name. It was in there on like that. It was like one of them off brand ass little movies too, hey, dog. Whatever it was, the one of them low budget movies. Of, damn, there though. But hey, it was, like it was no an accurate bullshit. depiction of a regular what, nigga. That what happened? Like nigga, like, I think he was like a boxer, or he did some type of sport or some shit. And his wife was into like a little, uh, like a little drama skits and shit, like on, uh, on broad, like Broadway skit type shit, and like. Uh, the nigga that she was uh, like doing the play with or the scene with or whatever, they started hanging out like after they do this like after work type shit, and then like they had the little premiere for the movie. They came, and then like the whole scene was like she she like 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 what I said earlier. Like what if it was a whole another like situation going on in the scene? She didn't even tell them all the way. Then they watching the premiere and shit, 
And then you see her getting fucked. And that's basically what it was in the movie. Like, she getting fucked type shit. And you sitting there looking goofy as a bitch. Like, ah, uh, that's all. But I'm they promoting saying. the movie like these are two main stars. So now you like, man, what? Like, nah, couldn't be me. That's the case. You might as well yeah, do she, porn. She, yeah, she got like, She at least got to tell me what the fuck is going on. Right. Like, like, if I don't know what's going on, that's different. Like, like bitch, you're like, you out of line. Like, you right. out of pocket. That's you out of pocket. Like, like, you you are. Yeah, like you out of pocket. Man. But if she, if like, if, if I know what's going on though, and I can expect, and I and I can expect is, you know, like, okay, like, all right. Yeah, no, to me, but being a relationship <laughs> is, I mean, basically, it's exclusive. So it's like it's some shit that just has to be exclusive to me. If you in movies doing certain shit and it's like you better have your drawers on. <laughs> it, no, not even that. Like I, you ain't even. <laughs> like basically, no, you can't be for me. You can't be naked. Like if you want to kiss a nigga, cool. If you even if you want to do a sex scene and it's like you can have your clothes on, but they can. Hit the angles where it look like you don't have no clothes on. That's what I'm saying. Cool. Like, you better have your drawers. Both of y'all better <laughs> have your drawers on. But like, you get. But she can have her drawers on, have her titties up. You cool with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, I should be saying that. Shit. You better have your drawers on. Your drawers on. <laughs> I know one thing. You better have them drawers on. So you on. cool with the titties being out? Yeah, that's okay. It's titty treat a nipple. <laughs> Pretty nipple. <laughs> Fuck that. But you better have them but drawers you on. Them drawers <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> you better have oh, Johnny, play it, dog. No, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing. Them titties. Nothing. Nah. You, everything better be covered up. My life. Everything. And even if, like, you can have, like, not a bra on, but you better have some pasties over them nipples. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's me. I believe. Being in a relationship, to me, is exclusive. It's certain shit that I should have access to that nobody else should ac- have access to. Man, and your that. body... Is on that list. If my your girl body, actress, I should. Nobody else should have access to your body. If my girl visually, actress, and she got to show her titties. Got to do. She got to do to get your money, baby. Fifteen million dollars. Don't need that shit. This, this is my thing. You know what I'm saying. You can't be getting buzzed down in no low budget films. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. You got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. No low budget, no porn. Nah, none, nah. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Nah. Not, not, nah, none of that. None of that. Nah, none of that shit down here. You know what I'm saying? Oh now, if you if you just a cold ass actress and you in some like fire ass movies, then that, that I don't really care. But I mean, you gotta draw a line somewhere, though. Can't be taking your, your drawers off no ten G's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten G's. <laughs> we can go back home and do that shit. Man. No bullshit. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, we could start OnlyFans for that damn near. Real quick. That's funny. <laughs> so uh, I don't know nothing else. I know you better have them drawers. <laughs> Well, so uh, <laughs> the pandemic over, man, right? Mm, Pretty much. Man, in the is it? What y'all think? What's man. your thoughts? It ain't over. It's over. They yeah, open everything up. They trying to get. They trying to everything they, open up, but they trying to tell niggas to get in, the, the virus to uh, get this shot still. Yeah, shit. you think one motherfuckers to get that vaccine? If anything, yeah. that's gonna be their major push. But hell no, nah, man, that shit's still out there. Motherfuckers still getting sick. We just don't hear about it as much because, like I said, they main thing is to get that shit make it seem like it's gone type shit. But mm-hmm. that shit's still out here, dog. Especially with motherfuckers that's. Like we got everybody got their grandparents. Like mostly everybody still got their grandparents, great grandparents, bro. Like that shit can easily just get them gone. Like yeah. easily, bro. <clears throat> Especially for motherfuckers that already lost they, you know what I'm saying? Grandparents from that shit. Yeah, I still wear the mask when I be around Man, my grandparents. Yeah. 
that's the only time I really wear one now. Like, everywhere else, she ain't got to wear one, but when I go to her house, I still wear my shit. But she stay in, you know, she stay in a place where it's all older people, like older people and retired people. Type shit. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Grams make me stand right in the kitchen. She be in the front room. <laughs> My grandma, this shit weird in the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, can't, right. can't, can't sit comfortable in the kitchen. <laughs> you all in there on the couch and shit. Me. Right. Yeah. I'm like, don't give me no hug. Right. Man. All right, grandma. I ain't hug my grandma. <laughs> I don't even do that. She's like, all right, John. All right, grandma. I see you. Yeah, like when I be seeing, like I, I see yeah, her, but like nice. we don't hug. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Lost grand, lost shit. Lost my grandpa to that shit. <clears throat> she don't play no games. Yeah, Barely shit. just start letting motherfuckers back in the house. Yeah, I ain't even know that though. When you said that. Oh yeah. We're gonna talk. We're gonna. I want to talk about you, but later about some other shit. But. Down here, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what y'all was saying, so I can't. <laughs> Everybody got quiet, so I don't know what y'all was saying. I was in the bathroom. Oh, we was just talking about oh, visiting COVID, grandparents and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so that so for them, it ain't it. over. That's what I was saying. Yeah, because yeah. I was, I was saying that. uh I still wear my mask when I go to my grandma's house, but that's the only place I wear it mm-hmm. right now. Well, I guess that's where it's different for me, I guess. All my grandparents gone. <laughs> so, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, my my parents and my aunts and uncles, the old people on both sides of my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, my mama, them, my mama, her mom died when I was two. Her dad died when I was 14, freshman year in high school. And then my grandparents died. My dad parents died within the last, like, five years or some shit. Uh, it was a year apart, wasn't it? Yeah. I think uh, my grandma died in 18, I think. And then in the next year, my... Grand, well, our our grandma mm-hmm. died in eighteen. I think it was right before, right before my son, my oldest son, turned one. And then my granddad, dad, our granddad, dad, right before my youngest son was born. So, yeah, I don't have that problem with the old folks mm-hmm. in my family. Yeah, we was just at uh, your sister's <laughs> them grandpa house. Yeah. He like seventy four, I think. <laughs> Is he? Ain't no, yeah, I think he like seventy four, mm. seventy. He's seventy something. Mm. Nobody over there had masks. The only person that had on a mask was that the, one lady. I don't know. Yeah, her name. the lady. She was taking pictures. <laughs> oh, she was taking pictures. Man. Yeah, she was the only lady. <laughs> Otherwise, nobody had on mask. Shit, they lifted that when they lifted that motherfucking mandate. It was over. You seen it everybody? Was it was before it. that. Once, yeah, it once they said, life. if you vaccinated, you don't have them. You don't have to wear a mask. Oh yeah, I ain't seen nobody wearing no mask. Yeah, I went to Walmart when I was at I was work. Like, yeah, that's what I was saying. We I, free. I, I, I'm at, <laughs> I, I work and I deliver to the grocery. I'm going in Walmart, Pick and Save, Target. Nobody got on masks. You probably see like five people. Masks. I was, I was one of them people <laughs> with, yeah. with masks. I was one of them niggas. So my wife, I was still with your mask on. Yeah, I, I wear mine every now and then. Like yeah. it depends on how I feel. Like. I was still wearing it after they lifted the mask mandate. I didn't know until you but, told me. But in that week that they lifted the mask mandate, it was so hot. I was like, bro, that's it. That's it. I'm taking the mask off. <laughs> it's too hot. I'm no, not bro. doing the mask shit. It's too hot. I'm, I'm going to take this off. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too hot. It was too hot that week. It depends on how many people around, bro. Like, if I see like 15 plus bodies And like if we close close Like I feel like we breathing the same air I'm like nah Fuck that yeah. So I just keep Did my you shit. ever get it? 
The COVID? Or, yeah. 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 I, I caught it around New Year's. The worst time, bro. If Did it fuck you up? No, bro. Like, I was in the basement, like, the whole time just smoking. So when you got it, it you went and got tested. When I, yeah, I had, cause you know, my job I had to get tested every week and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how I found out and shit. Okay. They made me leave work. I'm on the floor working and shit. Yeah. Got the email. I'm like, oh, shit. It was right around New Year's, bro. So I ain't get to do shit for New Year's. This year or last they year? Paid. I want the one that just passed. 20, okay. uh, 21. Yeah. 21. I ain't get to do shit. But, like, I ain't had no symptoms or nothing, bro. Like, shit, I was cool. Like, no shortage of breath. Like, yeah. loss of uh, smell, smell, taste, none of that shit, bro. I was yeah. just chilling. Oh, shit, cool. Good, then. Some people say they lost their yeah. sense of smell and they shit still ain't right. Nigga, body talking about... I know a nigga that said he had to crawl to the bathroom and shit, bro. Like, couldn't Damn. Crawl? Nigga couldn't stand up on his own. That's how bad his Damn. body was hurting, bro. Like, Damn. Like, his bones was hurting, bro. Like, then he lost his... I, lost the smell, lost his taste. I think I got that soreness too, shit, but I contributed to... Because I was traveling. Because we went down... I went down south for Thanksgiving. Mm. And then on my way back, when I was driving, I was like, God damn, my body hurt. I was like, damn. And I'm thinking it's just because this, like, I drove down. I drove. So I drove down south right after I got. So I'm driving all day at work. Right. Right after I get off work, I drive down there. I spend two days down there and drive right back. Then it, so I'm thinking it's like, okay, my body hurt because I've just been sitting down all this time driving. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I went and got tested because my mom, my mom and my pop said they body was sore, and my mom went and got tested. Mm. And so she said, and then she ended up getting positive test. So I was like. I've been around you all this time. I got I go in and go get tested, mm. and that's all I know. But but I I think I was at whole. I think I was at work that whole week with COVID. <laughs> like that, the whole first week when I came back, <laughs> that shit came back positive or negative. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> like I when I got tested, I, but, but I came back that week. And hey. My mom, them, the I'm next back. day after. <laughs> We got back. They, she said that. So, and she went and got tested, and she got her results two days later. After that, Type and shit. then so I went and got tested. And by the time I get tested, excuse me, I'm already a week back from coming from down there. So if I got it down <laughs> there, I'm already a week in having it. Right. Because yeah. the next week I went and got tested because I wanted to record. But I ain't want nobody to pull up if I got COVID. Type shit. And, but so I went and got tested, ne- positive. Then the next week, I was negative. So that's one week after a positive test, I got negative. And they say you're supposed to have it for two weeks, right? So that's how that shit spread. Motherfuckers don't be knowing. Like shit, and this. You don't be aware. And we found out. One of the people that was cooking for that was cooking a meal for Thanksgiving was sick. Type shit. Like it's just three, like four, five days before they yeah. was cooking. Just like that episode of Bernie Mac. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bernie Mac exactly. Show. That's exactly what happened. Exactly. You know, uh-huh. <laughs> they was breathing exactly all over that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Put my Bernie ankles Mac. in it. My mm-hmm. wife and kids. That shit was funny. Yeah, it was. Uh, Everybody got sick. <laughs> it was Shauna's auntie. Mm. Her, well, it was Shauna's cousin. So Shauna's aunties was cooking, and one of their sons help was helping. Mm. But coming to find out, he was sick like three, four, five days before they was cooking. <laughs> but he never got tested. So it's never to be known if he had COVID. I caught that shit from work. They called me. I was blaming they ass. I said, man, this shit y'all fought. Shouldn't be at, I shouldn't be at work no damn way. This motherfucking pandemic going on. Mm-hmm. Talking about y'all want to six feet apart. Like, my machine that I work on, bro, like, yeah, the where I'm standing that type shit, 
Like, yeah, don't nobody need to be around me. But, like, on the other end, somebody got to stand over there. But when we got to throw the rolls on the machine to run them motherfuckers, like, motherfuckers close, bro, because them rolls big as a bitch. Like, these motherfuckers, like, down there, like, 600 pounds, bro. Damn. Then, like, some of them be a bit, like, heavier than that type shit. And you got to load that shit, like, bro. Like, no, nah, niggas going to catch that shit. Y'all, y'all load them together. Yeah, bro. Cause like shit He gotta hold that motherfucking place While you know what I'm saying While I pull the motherfucking lever down and put, Get it on there Throw it on the machine Like man that shit be You know what I mean Niggas be around motherfuckers Alright So that's how I was like Man they just need to let motherfuckers be off Cause ain't no way around this shit If it's airborne It's airborne Touch You know what I'm saying Just being in the vicinity Or whatever Yeah as if you working right if you got doing somewhere, you got to work right next to somebody right, or bro. right directly across from somebody, y'all going to get that y'all shit. Y'all going to get that shit. Because ain't no telling y'all what y'all do outside of work, what you do outside of work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Five days a week, six days a week and shit. Yeah. Like, hell no. Yeah. It was really six days a week, the whole pandemic, bro. No bullshit. All last year, bro. Like, yeah. they down there broke niggas. <laughs> yeah. They broke niggas, bro. From February all the way to December, bro. Six days a week. Yeah, we had got a little bonus for that shit for a little bit when that shit had first started. Them niggas ain't give us shit. Motherfuckers down there want us to earn our shit. Y'all uh, do this right. So, so, Damn, such, they such bogus. Like, they made y'all work through the hard. pandemic. No no extras? Man, no incentive. <laughs> they no incentive bogus. Pay, <laughs> That's why that, that should have been, that should have damn near been Mando oh, everywhere. Man. If you make damn it your. should have, bro. At least $2, bro. You maintaining the whole job, bro. Mm -hmm. Kids ain't in school. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit a lot. They should have. Especially for single parents, bro. Like, that shit. They should have did that everywhere. If you got to work through the panorama, nigga, you get a You getting a bonus. Damn, they need to. Niggas making hella cheese. Mm -hmm. Hella cheese off of. (laughs) Panorama. That's actually what that shit was for. No bullshit. Panorama. It's gonna make some money real fast. Mm-hmm. Have everybody panicking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have them thinking this really, you know what I'm saying? Ain't pro- Be honest with you, bro. I even had to talk down on it, but it might come down to the point where they get they they come out about this shit and be like, man, COVID ain't even really nothing. Like this shit just another motherfucker little flu. Like it ain't even that major type shit. Like wow. that shit was down there just a scare tactic type shit. But ain't no telling. Yeah, man, that's it. I ain't got shit else. Y'all want, got some shit y'all want to participate trophy. You got one? Kia boys. I hope all you niggas get caught. <laughs> <laughs> and you drop the soap. The Kia boys. That's what they call them? The Kia, the Kia kids. The Kia kids. Because it's, it's females out here on that dumb shit, it's too. Females the Kia, Kia kids. You know Kia what I'm saying? The Kia kids. <laughs> the Kia kids. <laughs> Nigga, I hope all y'all get caught. Get caught. You know what I'm saying? Wolf and shit. They you out here regular. I hope all y'all get caught. Sit by the federalities bust nigga. down somewhere You know what I'm saying Super bust down Looking goofy as hell <laughs> On video On body cam All that goofy shit Stop y'all all here, that here stealing dancing, mo- y'all motherfuckers. Right <laughs> Out here stealing motherfucking shit and they, work, and they work hard for this shit I ain't I don't think I ever had a participation trophy on the hood of the Yeah car. that shit was wild bro I'm like niggas, these bro, little niggas, niggas sick niggas, dog. All that Sick. hip thrusting and all that. Shit. Like, bro, <laughs> mm-hmm. sit y'all. Like, like, you know, hey, we do some little fruity dances. Like, oh. like, you, like you niggas, you niggas hard selling cars, but you doing some fruity ass dances. <laughs> what the fuck? That shit ass backwards. Yeah, that's that's mine. I hope all you niggas get caught. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't me. wish no hurt or no, you know what I'm saying, death on nobody. But I hope all you niggas get caught. And you know what I'm saying in the act. Fuck you all. <laughs> oh my, you must know somebody with a key. No, bro, that's besides the point, bro. Cause oh, then no, niggas steal the whip. Shit. Niggas be stealing them shits, and then be they can't drive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Them, and then they smacking them, them shit. Ain't like they bro. stealing and them, killing, and then killing back. innocent people. And killing bro. people, yeah. Or and if they ain't killing them, motherfuckers getting injured. I, crazy. I see if they was taking them motherfuckers and then going to get cash up off of them. They ain't even doing that. No, they just, bro. They just being doing this joyriding. Yeah, they just joyriding. Like, damn. This shit. On some dumb shit. On bro. some goofy ass shit. Bro. Ain't even being smart with it. 
Just being dumb. Like, you're, like, like they ain't even trying to make no money off of it. They not. They just, just doing fun. shit. Just you know what, 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 fun, what they think is fun. Just for fun and fucking clout and shit. Motherfuckers get caught and then get released. We gotta do better, dog. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you no get caught shit. stealing somebody's shit, you should they you should turn them over to the people who whose shit they stole. Man. <laughs> so they can get the brakes beat off of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoop <laughs> they ass. Like beat the brakes off video. they motherfucking that ass. By the car lumped up. Uh-huh. That bitch look like motherfucking egg dog. <laughs> Looking like Martin on that one no, episode. <laughs> when he was fighting Hitman and Hearn. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh God. Yeah, lump they ass up. Yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Let let the owners of the vehicles lump they ass up. And then let them go. See if they still on that. Shit, fuck that. Motherfuckers out of control, bro. Kia boys. God. Kia kids, man. Kia kids. Kia kids. Kia kids. They be naming their generations and shit. He's the Kia kids. What the uh, millennials, baby boomers, these new kids that the Kia kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> they went from Gen Z to Kid Kid. Right. <laughs> mm. Nigga, sick. That's all I got. Well, that's good, man. Good episode, man. I enjoyed this one. We did this. Man, yeah. Fluid, too, all the way through. So, uh, fluidity. Check us out there Word Not Included Pod Instagram YouTube Twitter Facebook Yeah That's it man We out Possibility I just want to say something Uh. (laughs) I just wanted to be in the video. Possibility. Oh, I was right. trying to get back to my room. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be in the video. <laughs> <laughs>